behalf of our community. The former mayor, four terms, James Garner. Thank you, Mel, and certainly I want to thank the Notion Garden Civic Association for allowing me to come this afternoon and just to say a few things about the mayoral race in the village of Hempstead. But first, let me introduce someone uh, who was a little boy, about this tall, who went around with me knocking on doors, and now he has gone to North Carolina Central University, graduated, came back home, and got his MBA, and that is my son, Darrell. Uniondale, he's a part of, he's a Uniondale product. That's what he is. Came from Uniondale School District. So the, so the system does work. Let me say, um, again, I'm running um, for mayor because I believe that the village is going in the wrong direction. I say that because we, uh, we our theme is resetting the compass. We only chose four Four points on that compass. One is job creation, and of course that's economic development for a safer community, youth investment, and tax relief. I have picked a professional team. I picked Dr. Sally Thompson, who is a 38-year educator. I picked Ken Roldan, who is a Hispanic. He is a former uh, assistant attorney general and he was a candidate for lieutenant governor. And then, of course, Paul Dell. Paul Dell is running for the Village Justice. Sally Thompson is running for trustee. And, of course, uh, Ken Rodan is running for trustee as well. Mr. Deputy Mayor, you are absolutely right. Leadership starts from the top down. I agree with that. <coughs> Let me also say that uh, I'm happy to say that I've been endorsed. I'm the only mayoral candidate that has been endorsed by two police departments. I've been endorsed by the Hempstead Police PBA, and, I've been de and I spoke to Jim Carver today. Jim Carver called me today and said, you have the endorsement of the Nassau County Police Department. I really thank you for that. <laughs> now, I will say this. There's eight candidates in that race. Seven. Seven candidates in that race. And I can tell you this, only one is going to win. <laughs> The only one is going to win. I leave you with this. Instead of us fighting each other, let's fight for what's right for Hempstead. Let me say that I'm very proud of the accomplishments when I was mayor of Hempstead. If you look at those two big shopping centers, they are open every day. People are shopping there every day. If you look at the train station, the $22 million train station, if you look at the bus station directly across the street, I am very, very proud. In fact, when they started the train station, they said they weren't going to run the trains on the weekend. I went to MTA, and we made them open that train station so that train run 24 hours a day going into Manhattan Penn Station. So I'm very, very proud of that. But let me just say, um, this time coming back, if I'm the lucky one to be mayor, I see it a little different this time. I am now the Deputy County Comptroller, which I control a budget of $1.3 billion. The, of course, the budget for Nassau County is $2.6 billion, and of that $2.6 billion, I control $1.3 billion of that $2.6 billion. So I see it a little different now when I come back. Let me say that I've also enjoyed the fact that I've been the President of the United States Conference of Mayors, which gives me an opportunity to be on the Executive Board again of the U.S. Conference of Mayors. And what does that mean? That means I can bring uh, money home from Washington, D.C., and it means that I can bring money home from uh, Albany. Let me congratulate the Uniondale Fire Department because I served on Homeland Security. And, of course, at the time when Senator Clinton was there, we wanted the money to come directly to the, straight, uh, to the first responders. So you do a great job for the community. And again, we are on row C. I ask that you go out and vote for us on March 19th. Row C, change, a change that you can believe in. Thank you very much.